Well, it's the middle of the afternoon on an absolutely scorching hot day. Uh, we've all just had uh, a bit of a light lunch. Mark's gone back round to the other side of the lake. That's Mark number one, <laughs> who's just uh, just turned up. Mark number two is absolutely puffing and panting. And in there, we think we've got a £60 common. Uh, myself, Matt and Mark two, we tried to uh, weigh it, but um, Mr Copson's come round and I... It was fluctuating between 60 and 60 and a half pound, mate. The sling weighs two pounds, so it's over 50. That's that's one thing we can uh, chalk off. So I think it's around about 58, 59 pound. Biggest fish in the lake, then. So uh, we're going to obviously try and oh. get a true weight now. So uh, yeah, it's a beautiful fish, absolutely, and a mark on it. Right, I'm going to stop waffling on it. Uh, let's have a look at it then. So go I'm going for 58 and a half pound, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You deserve that. That's it. <laughs> what an absolute piece Longer. of a, I'm so glad to be here to just see it. Yeah. Oh. And that oh. was on a just a single 18 mil sauce boilie. 18 mil sauce boilie. <laughs> With no bait around it. No. Oh, sorry. There was them couple you catapulted around it for me. I knew it was coming around. See, that's why. <laughs> I, I just. Uh, I needed to be able to have a little bit of input see into catching it. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Take a photograph for us, someone. That's oh, a bar of gold. Well, we've been coming f to France for how many years and we've never seen nothing like that. Thank God we brought Mark with us because we probably wouldn't have seen anything this time otherwise. I'll try and hold it up again. Oh my days. That is just... Did you enjoy your shower? Yeah. Put him back. You're learning how to hold these big fish now, aren't you, mate? I've had a lesson from you. Might as well pack up now. They don't get much bigger in here than that one. All right, it's going to go. Oh. Oh. Well, the pink bottle of uh, fizz is coming out shortly. <laughs> to toast a beautiful occasion. That's all I can say. To see us over the moon. See a fish like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Oh, we just put the grass card back, and Matt's rod shot off. And look at this beast. Absolute right brute. The scales on that baby. That is one of the cleanest fish I've ever seen. Unfortunately, we've just got a little bit missing on his tail. But the scales on that are immense. Yep, as on the right hand rod. Uh, fish that are reasonably short range on a key bottom bait. And one of my uh, fresh orange, white little 12 mil pop up tippers. Put quite a bit of bait in, and most of it's in the bottom now of my uh, retainers thing. In that carp stomach. <laughs> Absolutely brute. 40 pound and three quarters of an ounce. It was. Well, there you go, folks. Wade photographed, just slipping her back. Sure, after a, quite a, a difficult start, Matt? Yeah. You're happy to get them two under your belt? Well and truly, I mean, this one. Just a shame about that tail. Yeah. But uh, apart from that, anyone who's a carp angler would be just as privileged as me to catch it. Yeah, beautiful fish. Naturally, it's a. Uh, Quite fatigued because it didn't have put up one ever scrap. So couple of puffs and he'll be gone. Hopefully he's just got his head thoughts on yeah. the edge of the retainer. Which I'll try and uh, adjust for him. Come here mate. There we go. There we go. A couple of gulps. And he'll be away in his own time. Look at that little bit of purple on his gill. Mm. You know how many times I'll come to France and never ever lose the buzz, mate. I just. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. Not forgetting, one of, this is one of Mr. Beagle's pets. <laughs> A money making pet, may I ask? Well, it's thanks to him, mate, that gives the likes of me and you yep. the privilege to come out here and, and angle for fish of this size because we. we reality then off at home when you get back home mate. We only get a week every other year so 
And this one's running through the uh, green crackers. We can give them a bit of a another week for that. Best way though, let them go in their own time. Well, Thank folks, you, my love. Just come back from the supermarket, and <laughs> this has rattled off, and I've had probably near an hour fight trying to get the damn thing in. I don't think I'm going to be able to lift it, but I'll have a go because. No, I don't think I'm going to lift it. <laughs> I can't lift it. Um, but as you can see, it's a cat. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But um, it's amazing we've been here for four days and I was just tying a rig to go for the cats tonight because I wanted to try and get one. Because I've been here um, to Lords before and not managed to get one. I'll prove it. I was literally just tying up that to have a go for the cats tonight and he's took a 15mm squid bait instead so yeah. that can be thrown away because the prize is already here and this as far as I'm aware is the biggest fish biggest cat in this lake and we just weighed it and it went 96 just over 96 pound <laughs> absolute monster and he's going to open his mouth for you how about that folks what an absolute monster. I wouldn't say it's a beautiful thing, because <laughs> I think they're really ugly. But, like the bloke who's caught it, I suppose. <laughs> but, sitting there, having a beer. What is it, about half three, four o'clock? About that, yeah. I'm certainly glad I've caught it during the day, because I don't think I'd have got it in, on, in the night. Because it, it went, tried to go under the trees, didn't it, and the rod was nearly snapping. <laughs> mm. So. But um, so happy I've managed to get me my first um, cat over fifty pound. I'm just as I got to say. So I'm not going to say any more. <laughs> we'll get a nice couple of stills. We'll see you on the oh, next Welcome one. back, folks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Big fish Thursday. <laughs> right. We've had probably the slowest day of the entire week. Uh, I'll just refresh you. Memories. <laughs> I kicked off this morning at six o'clock with a uh, forty-three pound common. Is that right, Mark? Yeah, it certainly was. Uh, Mark two to my left. I had a thirty-seven pound linear, and that was your first bite in two days, was it right? Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, we've had our breakfast, and we've literally just watched the water do absolutely nothing. It has gone a lot cooler this afternoon. Winds changed direction. And then all of a sudden, what what time was it, lads? Does anyone know? You've popped round. I was it, was it about half four, five. quarter to five? Yeah, about that, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, Mark's had a bite on the spot that's done most of the bites this yeah. week. And you, you'd have put your, your mortgage it on it, mate. You yeah, thought it was a catfish? I one yesterday. I, I thought it was another cat. But you can clearly see. the bottom and just kited straight round to the tree line. I had to give it so much stick to keep it out of the trees. And it come up and I said, it's not a cat, it's a carp. Well, I'm just focusing now speechless. of what's in your sling. You can clearly see, folks, that is not a catfish. That is a 61 pound new French PB common for Mark Copson. <laughs> and it is a pig. <laughs> so, that this is without doubt the biggest brute we in the thought, lake. We thought, that yep, Mark, two of that, the biggest, biggest one, but <laughs> we didn't realize there's one in three pound bigger. Right, I'll, I think Mark's struggling a bit there to talk and hold the creature. And I think this is it. <laughs> what I think he was trying to say was the one that Mark had marked to early in the week, we thought was the big one, which had dropped in weight. <laughs> but we've weighed it, we've weighed it three or four times. The scales don't lie, mate. He went 63 on the uh, on the scales. Two pound for the sling. 61 pound, mate, of common carp. <laughs> Look and at that. Because I did say earlier in the week... <laughs> That if anybody catches a bigger carp this yep. week, I jump in. Synchronised swimming. <laughs> Synchronised swimming, did he say, Mark? He did indeed. No, I, did I say naked? I said I'd jump in the lake. He said you'd dive in. So, unfortunately, well, holding this, I'd say fortunately, but unfortunately, <laughs> I've got to go in the drink with it, <laughs> without the chesties. Mate, this looks so. immense from this side of the camera. <laughs> That is an absolute peach. Well, we've been to France how many years for, for catching something like this? Uh, we've done a fair few trips over the years, me and you, mate. And I'd say, other than meeting my lovely wife, Lindsay, and, the, and having our three beautiful children, yeah. this, 
<laughs> this is the next best, best thing you've achieved in your life. So, thank you, Mr. Carr. my word. I said, if I get a bigger fish than Mark, which I didn't think there was a bigger one in here, I said I'd dive in. It's quite cold today, it's probably 16 degrees. But, there it goes. Yay! <laughs> 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 Well, folks, unfortunately, it has to go back. We've waited years for it, but here she goes. Thanks, babe. You get two kisses because you're a big fish. Look at that. Look at the size yeah. of this one, folks. 60 pound and a few ounces, Mark. Yeah, Mark 2 starts off the morning with a great, what was it, 48 pound yeah. um, common. And now um, you're going to top that one, mate. Single up bait, uh, cultured up bait, 4G squid, uh, fished at range. Literally, I respotted it after my dinner. Uh, no, I didn't, after my breakfast, get me bearings. Went in the water 20 minutes, mate. I've had two bleeps and an epic battle. And this absolutely stunning creature. I'm really struggling to hold it. Well, well we come for a 40, and I don't think any of us expected what we've caught. 60 pounds. Look at that, ounce, folks. It's hard to even focus, you don't. Is that big? Proper cradle filler. Not half. So, um, are you chuffed? Chuffed. <laughs> I'm elated. Absolutely elated. But, um, as tradition. <laughs> <laughs> you won't go in, so you have to have that, mate. <laughs> well, folks. Matt's got in with the beast. Look at that, folks. I think anybody would be more than happy to catch a fish like that. 60 pound and four ounce of big O common carp. Absolutely stunning. Glad you come, mate. <laughs> what a way to spend the week of 2016. I'd just like to thank you two for attending me on this trip, mate. It's been fantastic. Lauren. Bigger for uh, rearing these stunning carp that rang him for, and uh, Kevin Nash, Gary Bays. Four, uh, four G squid on the business, isn't there, mate? I might bang on about Nash Bay, but this is why I use it, folks. Look at that. We're not 100% if it's the one Mark had earlier. We guarantee it's not the one I had yesterday. But um, we shall have a look at the photos. And no doubt before we go tomorrow, we shall update you whether it's another 60 pounder or whether it's, um, well, it's definitely a 60 pounder, but whether he's put like um, a pound and a half on it in a week, which is m more than easy this time of the year with the spawn and obviously the amount of bait going in. So we'll have a look at the uh, photos and um, we'll see where we get to. But this could be like the third fish around the 60 pound mark what we've had this this week <laughs> he's, he's alive to chat well it's the last full day and at six o'clock this morning mark two's rod which rod was it mark left rod right middle it was the left rod uh, he screamed off at six o'clock this morning <laughs> He's not. <laughs> well, at least the cradle's there, mate, doing its job. And uh, would you like to tell all the viewers the weight of this beautiful creature in your arms? It's 48 and a half pounds. <laughs> you coming to France Second, again? I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. What a absolute... Second biggest carp of the trip for you? Second biggest one for me, yeah. And that's... And I'm absolutely... One of the biggest carp of the trip, isn't it, Mark? Third. Third. Third biggest. Pussycat, pussycat, I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> With your orange lips, too. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely. What can I say? We said there was three fish we needed to catch before we went, and there's certainly one of them. It's the Mandarin cat at £85. On the final night? <laughs> <laughs> could have done without it, I've got to have a, like a 10 hour drive back tomorrow and I said could do without a run tonight really but 
You have to take it, don't you, if it comes. It went and wiped out my rods, but uh, yeah, I do apologize. There's, well, there's nothing you could do, mate. That I know what they're like. I had one a few days ago. Yeah, <laughs> just steam trains, but I'm just chuffed to bits, mate. That the one that you've. You've got an up tonight of all yeah. nights as the Mandarin cat, and I know you really wanted that one, mate. Yeah, because if, if it had been one of the others again, the same fish, like, because there's only, I think, three this sort of size in here, it would have been a bit of a anticlimax, really, to see it again. But 85 pound, eh? Certainly worth getting up for. Couldn't believe it when the orange head come up. Was that on the old 4G squid? And It was 4G squid with the, um, believe it or not, the pineapple <laughs> tipper again. <laughs> no fresh orange in it. Yeah, sorry. fresh orange, mate. Well, that's why he's, he's orange, because it's a fresh orange tipper. So. <laughs> what a fantastic, <laughs> fantastic creature, mate. You wouldn't want it. If she's having a swim in there, you wouldn't want that coming up behind you, would you? <coughs> Look at that. Yep. 15 mil bottom bait. I wouldn't eh? say there's much that escapes the jaws of that once it's got inside it. No. Look at that. Look at that power in there. To be honest, though, though mate, They've been pretty active today, haven't they, the cats? Yeah, they have. There was loads in the middle, weren't they, earlier? If I say loads, there loads of fry, just big balls of them, just all scattering like every five minutes. So, when there's underneath them, you certainly know why. Rightio, get a couple of stills, because we need to get to sleep. Well, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, what a, if this this could be the last fish of the trip for me. Well, it could be for all of us. That's so. it, mate. I think Mark, too, who's. Uh... He was gladly assisted with the uh, with the netting of this fish because I was holding my rod on the other side because we crossed lines and it was just locked up and yeah. Mark's got out of his uh, his slumber. He was in a deep sleep this evening. Yeah, well and uh, God yeah, bless him, mate. He's come round and he's helped uh, yeah. Mark number one. So uh, I, I would say it's a team effort, lads. Yeah, <laughs> the Mark's boys. <laughs> so uh, next question, Mark. Are you going to attempt to uh, lift him or you haven't you got the strength? I don't know. I'll, I suppose we'll have a go. <laughs> would you want me to lift it now for the camera? Or? Uh, nah, mate. No, we'll we'll, we'll try and lift it yeah. for the pictures. I think. Uh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> yeah, just contain your strength for the uh, for the pictures. But. Uh, and yeah, th thanks both for a great great work. Oh, yeah, really unbelievable, mate! Unbelievable.